welcome back to my channel. So for today, the video that I'm putting together is um, a review for a product that I've mentioned in my previous videos. So those of you guys who have watched my video review for the 3 C E lipstick for their black and pink series, I mentioned in that video that I was so eager to try the new Mood Recipe lipstick line and these are the three colors that I have. So in total, I think that they have five shades for this Mood Recipe line and the reason why I actually only had or I only bought three of them is because um, some of the shades are not something that I know I would wear often. So I decided to just take three. So I think the shade that I didn't take is or didn't buy is the Chick Fool, I think. So that shade is more on the vampy red winey type of red, which is definitely not my personality and I won't be wearing that shade. Probably I, I would only wear it when I'm playing around with my makeup, but not every day. That's the reason why I didn't take that. And the other shade that I didn't bought was the first one which I think is Rose. The reason why I didn't buy that is because I think the shade was too light. Too light to the point that it's like it's like exactly the same color of my lips. Although I just based that off from the color swatches that I saw from images, I just think that um, I might as well just buy those um, shades that I would be able to see some pigments in it. So the three shades that I bought is actually um, Inked Heart and this one is Mus and the last one is the Smoke Rose. So these are the three products that I got and to be honest when I got this from the mail I was actually keeping myself from swatching it and trying it out because I wanted to find a perfect time to put together this video and share with you guys my first impression while trying it out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start swatching these babies and try it out and see whether it's something worth waiting for. So what I'll try first is I think I'll try the mus first because I think this is the lightest one among them. So. I want to go from lightest to the darkest. So let's try it out. In terms of packaging at first glance, it's actually a very nice one compared to the black and pink series. Uh, those two are, you know, the generic plastic kind of um, packaging. With this one, it feels like silicone -y. I don't know how to explain this type of texture or describe it, but I feel like it's. The finish is like silicone, but the feeling is not so much. But it's actually like a hard container as well, which is actually pretty good. And I love the color of the packaging. That's why it actually kind of grabbed my attention because of this. Anyway, so this is the shade. Um, you get a lot of product actually. So um, this is the full. Um, product that you can get once you buy this product. So let me try it out. So this is the shade Must. So how I would describe this shade is more of a, a pinkish nude type of color. It's hard to describe it because it's pinkish nude but then you there's a hint of um, pumpkin shade in the color so it's more towards the pinkish nude shade which is actually quite nice. It's, as you can see it looks so natural on your lips. It's matte um, which is actually quite good. So this is the shade Must. The next shade that I will swatch and try for you guys is the shade Inked Heart. So this is number 116. So this is the shade on the bullet. This 
is the shade Ink Heart. So this is how it looks like. So it has that intense kind of pigment and vivid colors. And this shade, how I would describe it, is more of a pumpkin brownish orange type of shade. I don't know if you guys get what I mean, but it's more of a pumpkin kind of color, which is actually lovely. So this is Ink Heart. And now the last shade that I'm going to try out is the shade Smoke Rose. So I think this is the darker or the darkest that I have with me. So this is the last one that I'm going to try. So the color from the bullet is like this. And let's try it out. This is the shade Smoke Rose. So how I would describe this shade is more of um, a red shade, but you mixed it with brown. That's how this color looks like. So I think the description of this lipstick is very perfect because it's kind of like a smoked, a smoked out rose actually. So this is smoked rose, which is absolutely lovely. I don't really think that it's something that um, I would usually wear on an everyday basis, but it's a great lipstick to make a statement, most especially if you have a very nice or well done eye makeup. So yeah. This is the close-up look for the swatches of the three shades that I have. Um, this first shade is the shade Musk. So this is what I was telling you about more on the pinkish nude type of color, which is good for everyday use. The second one is, this is Inked Heart. So this is more on the terracotta um, slash pumpkin brownish type of color which I absolutely love. This is actually my favorite among the three. Um, this last shade is the Smoke Rose. So this is what I was telling you about like more of a combination of red with a hint of brown. So these are the three shades that I have. This is my first time actually experiencing this kind of colors and shades from a Korean brand which is why I absolutely love this product for that. On the other side, I was a little bit disappointed because um, I was having a hard time applying this product on my lips. This product is actually a matte lipstick and I know for sure when I bought this product that that's probably going to be a problem because it's a matte lipstick. If I would compare this with, you know, the MAC at lipsticks, the MAC one is actually even more difficult to apply. Like I feel like I'm using a chalk to apply it on my lips because it's just dry and really, really matte. But with this one, I can say that it's still easier to apply this compared to that. I guess I was expecting it to actually just glide easily, but then it didn't. I had to go back again and kind of clean up that areas where I haven't evenly put the product so it wasn't that easy to apply this product to be honest I had to um, like go back and you know apply the product I think twice or thrice so it's just not what I was expecting it to be but in terms of the finish it's matte but it's not very drying so that's another good thing I guess for some people because if you've experienced matte lipsticks from other brand it's very very drying like you can really see like your lips is cracking and you can see the flakes if you have very dry lips. That's one thing that you guys should uh, should know when you're purchasing this product because if you have very dry lips then I guess you'll have a hard time applying this product or you might have to prep your lips first or exfoliate before using this product. So that's one of the bad side of this product I guess. Surprisingly it didn't transfer. Um, well, it transferred a little bit, to be honest, but um, compared to their black and pink series lipstick, those two actually transfers quite easily. Like, um, it doesn't hold onto your lips that long. So with this one, it seems like it just transferred a little bit, but you still have all the pigments on your lips. So that is one of the good things about this as well. The color payoff, I would say that it is actually quite, quite good. It has that intense, vivid, type of color which I absolutely love and 
it's not on the natural side of shade so don't expect it to be more of those um, natural nude type of color the shades for this line are just more on the intense colors so be prepared to actually wear a, a statement lips when you're actually using this product with this one I am 100% sure that it's not going to be long lasting um, once I start drinking and eating definitely it's going to come off since it's a lipstick form um, I guess for some people that's fine but for some people who are uh, who are like me who's just lazy to reapply I think that's I would say like mm, I'm not such a big issue but it would have been better if it's long lasting but since it's a lipstick not a lip tint or lip ink I think it's fair enough that it's not long lasting like most typical lipstick are so yeah I guess those are my thoughts about this product um, I was actually expecting too much about this product but to be honest it didn't really disappoint me that bad it's just that um, the only thing that really disappointed me or I actually felt sad was how difficult it is to apply it although it's not 100% difficult to be honest it's just if I would gauge it from 1 to 5 like 1 being the easiest to apply and 5 being the hardest um, to apply I would say somewhere around 3.5 or 4 because it just kind of applies in a patchy way and when I say patchy it means that once I glide that lipstick on my lips some parts of my lips would not have any product so I have to go back again and reapply that part so I guess that's the only thing that I just didn't like about the product so yeah those are my thoughts about this product and if you would ask me whether it's something good for you to purchase I would say that yes because the shades are something you haven't seen or you haven't tried in other Korean brands if you're into Korean brands if you guys um, find it quite easy to apply just let me know as well I want to find out you know the different um, types of I don't know lip texture whether you know for some people it was easier for them to apply maybe for me it's just different but yeah I mean everyone's different we have different type of, of lip texture so I guess it just applies differently for everyone but for my case it's not really that dry it's just that I was expecting it to be more um, more moisturizing those are my thoughts about this product I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys love this product I absolutely love this as well I guess I was just expecting too much from this product but if you guys have any like good and bad experience about this product just let me know and leave me a comment below and I hope that this video is very helpful to you guys if you like this video please don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe and please don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you guys have any questions at all just leave me a comment below and I'll talk to you guys soon bye